Okay, this is N2LEN for the, another quick video clip. Okay, so this, tonight, we are going to, let me back it up here, be installing the RF Space IF2000, which is an IF interface board for the FT2000, 2000D, and the 950. Um, we're going to be installing it in the good old FT2000, and uh, I love the FT2000. It's just a, it's just a, uh, you know, a great radio, reliable, just does a great job. And I think it's about time that we finally install one of these. Uh, these are long discontinued, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, install it. This is the complete kit. We got here, I guess, the instruction manual, which I already looked at in PDF. Um, okay, it looks like it's uh, TMP to BNC for the signal cable, the mounting screws, and uh, let's take a look what the board looks like. Let's see the size of the board. It looks pretty, pretty small. Looks like it's taped up. Um, actually, it's not. Okay. I figured I can. It's actually in a bag. So I'm going to pull it out so you can see it. Hold on. And there we go. That is the, um, the RF Space IF2000. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this installed in the radio. We'll have some pictures, maybe a video clip once we get the radio apart. And this should go along uh, pretty simple, quick installation. This is N2LEN saying Happy New Year, and uh, we'll be okay, back. Okay, this is N2LEN with another quick video clip. Uh, the board is installed. Uh, basically, the way that you do this is you take the board by itself... There are four mounting screws. When you insert the board, and the, and the cables, do not install the cables until after the board is mounted. Follow the instructions. But you put the board in on an angle facing the right, going in on this corner, so you can get it to tuck behind uh, these bunched cable wires. Um, and also, the, the, there is in this corner, there is a screw that gets mounted. So what I did was I put this screw in, and then this screw. Now, to get to this, the, the bottom right screw, as you could see, let me see if I could zoom in there and get more light in there so you can actually see it. There's the screw. It's actually um, between some wires. I don't know if you could actually see that. But you gotta be careful when you put that screw in, a couple of things. Number one, you want to use a screwdriver with a magnetic tip because uh, if you lose the screw, it could fall right into the bottom of the radio through this slot. And then you're going to have to remove the bottom cover and then the bottom metal shield plates uh, to find it, unless you could actually get it to come out when you turn the radio over. But the four screws, then you take the signal cable that's provided and uh, you feed it through. Uh, the, rig, the rig is upside down, and you feed it through this corner of the slot. Um, the, the TMP connector uh, gets stuck in the instructions in manual. That it says that you could actually squeeze the connector with a, a needle nose plier. What I just did was I used a flat bladed screwdriver, got behind the actual uh, uh, fin of it, and I, I just pushed it in gently. And then you feed it out of the top right into this edge corner here that holds the cable. It comes down in between these two uh, filters. It fits nicely, and then right across, under, and then plugged right in. You want to feed it under these cables and then plug it right into the IF out. So the H cable that you removed from the letter H spot, which is right here, and you can clearly see. Let's see if I can get a light there. There's the H connector. You remove that cable. That goes into the 
IFN, which is right on top there. Make sure that they're um, pushed in nice and uh, snug. And the same thing with the, uh, the IF out cable. Then you reattach the orange 9 volt cable. This is the power cable that powers the board up. And that's the installation. It's complete. And we're ready to put the uh, cover back on the radio. So with that said, this is N2LEN. Let me show you the actual wiring. The, there's the wiring for, from the instruction manual. This is what it looks like. So you can actually see. And how I have it over here. Okay. And then over here, the way the cable is run. You can see that. And you can see it right here. So it's just about the same, almost to the T. We'll say best seven threes.